Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing something different. I've been um, watching videos of how to carve uh, fire agate. And uh, there's an area near here where, well, an hour away, where I've gone and collected um, chalcedony and agate, and some of them contain fire agate. Um, so I thought I would do a, sec a video just on fire agate. And I had to do a bit of research. So let's see here. I'm going to read some stuff to you first. Fire agate, a variety of chalcedony, is a semi precious natural gemstone discovered so far only in certain areas of central and northern Mexico and the southwestern United States, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. Approximately 24 to 36 million years ago, these areas were subjected to massive volcanic activity during the tertiary period. The fire agates were formed during this period of volcanism when hot water, saturated with silica and iron oxide, repeatedly filled cracks and bubbles in the surrounding rock. All right. Um, and in case you guys, you know, you, you, you hear me say, and probably others, chalcedony a lot. And here's just a very quick description of chalcedony. It's a crypto-crystalline form of silica, composed of very fine intergrowths of quartz and moganite. Not morganite, moganite, M-O-G-A-N-I-T-E, whatever that is. And then here's something really funny. I was watching this guy, his video, and he kept saying, Calcedony. And I'm thinking, what the hell is Calcedony? I realize he's trying to say Calcedony. And he's saying Calcedony. That's. <laughs> I'm like, Calcedony? Where did he hear that? Calcedony? Anyway, I mean, even here I've got a description. Let's see. Calcedony. Not cal Calcedony. Calcedony. Whatever. So that's just a little aside. Uh, it has, anyway, fire agate has a translucent, deep reddish brown base with flashes of orange, red, green, and gold that appear as living flames within the gem. Its iridescent colors are caused by light interference on thin layers of iron oxide or limonite crystals within the chalcedony or chalcedony. And it is formed, how is it formed? It's a type of chalcedony which, consta which contains multiple extremely thin layers of the iron oxide minerals of gertite and limonite embedded within and commonly in completely enclosed by semi-transparent to translucent layers of cryptocrystalline chalcedony. Okay, so that's the information. So I'm going to show you some things that this is, the thing is when you're looking for fire agate, you don't see fire agate. You have to look for the rocks that contain the minerals that when carved down, grinded down, whatever, you know, um, will show chalcedony. I mean, fire agate. So I just wanted to show a few things that you would be looking for. See this dark layer here? I'm going to have to blow this up a little bit. This dark layer here and this yellow right there that you see that's a fire agate there's fire agate up all through here um this has uh vitroidal formations you know the little bubbles those often have chalcedony and you can eat i mean fire agate I, I shouldn't have watched that guy. I'm going to say Calcedony for the rest of my life. And here's more fire agate. You can see little bits right along this edge. So, um, here's one that I, I partially polished because I knew it was going to have fire agate because the dark sard in here and the, the bubbles. The, bu the bubbles are betroidal formations. And on top we have chalcedony. And on the bottom we have this agate, which absolutely contains fire. You can see a little bit under there. But I don't have the nerve to actually carve it myself. 
because I tried to polish a stone outside and I don't have a water source and it got so hot so fast I burned my fingers. Here's another piece. Do you see what I mean about these bubbles? There's a bubble here, a bubble there, bubbles, bubbles everywhere. These most certainly contains fire. So you won't necessarily see fire agate if you're um, looking for it in the areas that it exists. But you see something like this, and you can see in the vitroidal formations, the bubbles, there's stuff under here. You can see that it's under there. This dark red agate is also um, a really good indicator, as is this change of color here. And these are not betrothal, these are like inside out bubbles. It's really cool. So there's probably fire agate all through this, if I had the nerve to cut it. It's called carving. This one's um, also what you would be looking for. It's really, really dark. It's called sard. And again, look at these bubbles. Aren't those cool? This will also contain fire agate. But it's a really weird shape. Um, like I'm going to do anything about it. <laughs> There's another piece. It's a uh, definitely. See the petroidal formations and the color underneath. This, this also has fire agate within. This one's just really, really cute. Um, there's a lot going on here. There's Druzy up here. And uh, over here. And here we have the Betroidal formations, very, very dark, almost black. So there's definitely under here, there's definitely uh, fire agate. I thought I could see some in here, but these here also are going to have a. You can even have purple in fire agate. I mean, this is just a beautiful stone, just as it is. And there's a little teeny weeny thing that I found out there, but Oop. really small. You can see there that this is this has that says fire in it. It's kind of hard to tell, but you see these um. The sides of these, uh, sides of these, you can see a little bit of flash in there, color flash. And if you're extremely lucky, because this is the only one I've, what is that? I clean this off, it means nothing. This is the only one I've ever found that has where is it? That has such a, that, has, that has so much fire showing. Look at that. Do you see this? Look at that. I showed a friend of mine who was a geologist. He said he could not believe it. Because finding fire just laying around is really, really difficult. Um, there's been... There is a, was, it's still there, but a fire agate mine up on the mountain, but it's been played out over a hundred and something years. And so, of course, every time it rains, you know, more material is deposited in the desert floor beneath, which is where you go collecting. And um, it's just, people are there every day. I mean, you know, it's not like there's, when I go, I rarely see anyone. But, you know, people go all the time. Not so much right now because it's 110. But, um, he said that it was just 
just unbelievable that I found something like this just laying on the ground. I was so excited when I found this. Isn't that just incredible? This is in my mineral co rock and mineral collection. That's just gorgeous. I mean, I wouldn't even want to carve this because it's, you know, these are these are going to end up having fire as well if they were carved down. All of this, even on the edge, and then we just got um, basically desert desert cement, desert rock on here. It was like this in the ground, upside down. And the desert, um, the dirt, it just gets so hot in the summer that it just sort of fuses into this matrix, this, this host rock. So you have to turn things over. You see the druzy too? You have to turn things over. Often. And then you get really lucky sometimes. Now here's some stuff that um, I made into jewelry. This one I did not set, but it's a beautiful agate. But if you turn it on the side, you see all this in here? Those are little betrothal formations with, with fire agate in there. So someone polished this up. Someone gave this to me. They polish it up, but they did not go deep enough, so to speak. Because all that is fire agate all along this side. And this one was also given to me. I made a ring out of it, but I'm not really happy with it, so I'm probably going to redo it. But you can see the betroidal formations underneath. It's not on the top. These are inside the rock coming through this really dark, dark um, matrix. We've got green and yellow and uh, it, it's all through this thing. It's just it's so beautiful. You know, I love this. Um, It's just a really, really nice, you know, if you do this, you can see that there's a significant amount of fire in this, in this small stone. And then someone also gave me this, because I can't afford to buy this stuff, guys. And look at that. See the betroidal formations? We've got the green, yellow. Um, I haven't really looked at this through the loop. I'm not sure what other... Ignore this orange thing. It's my lamp. I'm going to blow this up a little bit more. There. Yeah, ignore this. There's some red right here. And different colors of green and yellow. And down here is a big, 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 big bubble right here. And it looks like it's got some light yellow in it. I guess look at this beautiful dark green. Or mint green. It, it doesn't even look... I think that's red right there. It doesn't even look like it's... From this planet. I've been in love with this stuff for so many years. And, uh... So, that's my pendant that I made. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you go online, you can find some extraordinary examples of carved fire agate that will just blow your mind. I mean, it just looks like something alien, you know, it, and it's so beautiful. So beautiful. And it's, it's old, man. It's old, old stuff. It's not as old as the mountains here, but like I explained, you know, about the uh, formation of with the chalcedony and uh, silica and water coming in and pressure and heat and water and pressure over time. The silicates on the water just make these beautiful bubbles that are full of color. 
So thank you for listening, and I hope I've piqued your interest. And um, I'll have one more look at my beautiful, beautiful, natural, uncurved, Kelsa, <laughs> fire agate. Holy crap, I've probably sold Kelsey a bunch of times, haven't I? Calcadoni. And this is some of the allure of rock hounding. You never know what you're going to find. Bye, everybody.